हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर उत्तराखंड इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल टेल यू अबाउट दी व्हाट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक एंड हाउ दीज करेक्टर इंडिकेट वाट डज द इंडिकेट एक्चुअली मैं सो देर आर इंडिकेटर लाइक वाटर शेड एरिया शेप स्लोप स्ट्रीम लेंथ नंबर बाइफरकेशन रेशियो नंबर ऑफ करेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर देयर and the details of the characteristics is already uploaded in the playlist in watershed and you can watch this lecture the description details of this characteristics and in brief actually ye jo kya batate hain what does they indicate ye kya bata raha hai ye humko watershed area se kya pata chalega shape se kya pata chalega uh, what information we can get uh, from the uh, number of streams about a uh, area so this lecture is uh, related with the uh, characteristic and what uh, does this characteristic indicate and what information we can get so we can say it is the characteristics or or we can say this is the information about the characteristic so first one is watershed area so in watershed area is uh, large then run off volume will be more so watershed area indicate the run off volume so this is the indicator and actually in renford agriculture or in any place our objective is to to conserve the soil moisture to increase the infiltration percolation so that ground water is recharged aur jab ground water recharge hua tab sabhi ke kaam aata hai crop ke livestock ke human ke industry ke so recharge of ground water is necessary at the place where water falls what happens there is a rainfall and there is a runoff and then runoff is collected at other place and it cause the soil erosion so because of run off first one the water is not stored at the place so water deficiency is there number two it cause the soil erosion so top soil is eroded the reduction in soil fertility overall productivity is reduced so that's why our efforts to should be try to minimize the run off where water falls conserve it jahan pani gire usko wahi conserve kar lijiye run off hoga to kya hoga ek to pani beh ke dur kahin jaake ikhatta hoga to wo pani jahan pani gira wahan uski deficiency hogi सफ़र करेंगे लाइव स्टॉक एग्रीकल्चर ह्यूमन इंडस्ट्री सभी दूसरा क्या होगा वो जब वाटर कैरी होगा रन ऑफ होगा तो सॉइल को भी कैरी करेगा तो सॉइल इरोजन होगा सो इफ वाटर शेड एरिया इज लार्ज देन रन ऑफ वॉल्यूम जनरेटेड विल बी मोर देन शेप एंड वी डिस्कस द शेप अबाउट द इलांगेटेड शेप और द सर्कुलर शेप एंड दिस सर्कुलर शेप इज फैन टाइप एंड दिस इलांगेटेड इज फर्न टाइप मेनली टू टाइप शेप but maybe less elongated or oval shape but there are two major and the shape indicate the flood peak what is the flood peak so in circular type of uh, uh, watershed flood peak is high and it is very difficult to manage the water at the outlet because all the points contribute at the same time time of concentration is less in case of elongated uh, watershed flood peak is low but for longer duration and we can manage the flood so it indicate uh, indicator of flood forecasting so it helps in flood forecasting this uh, uh, shape then slope and the slope is uh, directly uh, related with the suppose this is the slope the high slope this is the less slope so here velocity of water will be more here velocity water will be less so slope indicate the velocity of the runoff so it indicate the velocity of runoff a velocity of runoff is more definitely it will cause more erosion it will cause more disturbance so more loss is there so in high slope in um, hilly area mountain area there is a slope there is a more soil erosion even landslide is there so land become uh, degraded so this is the impact of the slope number of streams are related with the structural disturbances if structural disturbances are more like uh, uh, small hills plateau or the rocks then number of streams will be more because they, uh, there will be distortion of a drainage pani ja raha hai drainage ho raha hai runoff ja raha hai beechon ke wo aa gaya to bad jayegi alag alag streams ban jayengi so it indicate the structural disturbances more a uh, number of streams more channels indicate there are more structural disturbances then length of stream is uh, also related with the this structural uh, we can say disturbances and 
if the both structural disturbances are there then infiltration will be less because uh, water get the pathway for the movement so infiltration is less and infiltration is less due to uh, structural disturbances or the the soil permeability this number of streams soil permeability is poor if number of streams are more then soil permeability is less and vegetation is poor if vegetation is good then their water holding capacity soil will be more and uh, vegetation will absorb the more water root will increase the porosity so vegetation is poor and relief is high means slope is more so number of streams number of streams related with the structural disturbances soil permeability vegetation poor vegetation and length of uh, and the uh, relief similar is the length of the stream structural uh, disturbances so if, the, if uh, structural disturbance is less then there will be more length suppose this is the uh, a channel and there is a structural disturbance suppose there is a small plateau then the channel will divert some water here and uh, some water diverted to either here so now there are two channels so same, uh, length is reduced so if length is high it means there is a uniform and uh, really uh, there is no disturbances but number of streams are more now the stream are more uh, now the one is uh, there is one stream now is there one, another stream is a third stream okay so if a structural disturbance this is the plateau length is reduced and number of stream increases so this is the effect so now we can know the what are our type of structures are there plateau is there mountain hilly uh, these affect these streams then bifurcation ratio is the effect of this length uh, length uh, number of stream bifurcation is uh, decided by number of stream of uh, first order divided by num uh, num uh, number of stream of second order then bifurcation ratio of second order number of second order divided by number of stream of third order so bifurcation ratio is high it means the number of streams are more so this bifurcation ratio is actually the impact of this number of stream and then this also applicable structural disturbance soil permeability poor vegetation and the relief so if high bifurcation ratio more branching of streams so please watch the video bifurcation ratio in watershed so that's why it is my suggestion that please watch the video related to all these characteristic then you can easily understand the this information and indicator of characteristic if bifurcation ratio is more branching of uh, streams is more and this is the impact of the number of stream definitely so all these are there so and this bifurcation ratio also indicate the drainage density drainage density if bifurcation ratio is more then drainage density will be high and this drainage density is related abhi main aapko bataunga yahan yahan likha hai maine drainage density is related with the infiltration if drainage density is high then it means drainage is more it means runoff is more and this high runoff is due to poor infiltration so poor infiltration so infiltration is low and uh, and infiltration is low definitely uh, percolation is low then recharge of ground water is low less recharge of water recharge of ground water is less so it means in watershed area where drainage density is high because of more number of streams it means there is more drainage there is poor infiltration poor percolation so ground water recharge will be very poor so there will be deep water table so it it will poor this lead to deep water table so this is the uh, we can say this is not a negative impact deep water table and water table uh, should be optimum not too shallow not too deep if the water table is too shallow it will create the water logging in the root zone agar water table bahut shallow ho jayega to root zone mein pani aa jayega saturation anaerobic condition rahegi crop survive nahi karegi nutrient ki leaching nahi hogi to optimum a critical depth is required so if deep water table to our tube well se pani nahi nikal payenge ya bahut boring karna padega gehra so this is the impact of drainage density so now this drainage density indicate all these parameters so this drainage density is directly related with the runoff and inversely related with the infiltration now this uh, elongation and circulatory ratio these are uh, and this compactness coefficient are related with the shape elongation ratio uh, if less than 0.7 then it is elongated 
and it is 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 then it is less elongated if it is 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 then oval shape and it is more than 0 0.9 then it is circular shape similarly circulatory ratio if it is close to one then it is circular as the value increases beyond the one then it become elongated please watch this video elongation ratio circulatory ratio and compactness coefficient video is available in the playlist watershed and drainage density we have discussed so these are the different indicator so our interest is in hydrological process of a particular watershed hum kyu characteristic ki study kar rahe hain hum wahan ke watershed ki hydrological process dekhna cha rahe hain how much is the precipitation means water cycle precipitation condensation infiltration and the runoff actually this runoff and infiltration and precipitation are the very important for the uh, for the living uh, things for the plants for the animals for the human for for survival water is must and this water come from the rain if water is not stored at the place then uh, it is difficult to sustain the life so us area mein agar jahan precipitation kam ho aur usme bhi soil moisture na ruke to wahan sustain karna mushkil ho jayega तो अगर प्रेसिपिटेशन कितना हो रहा है वहाँ कितना रन ऑफ हो रहा है कितना इन्फिल्ट्रेशन हो रहा है अगर कम हो रहा है तो हाउ टू इंक्रीज दिस इन्फिल्ट्रेशन दैट्स वाई वी कैन मैनेज द वाटर शेड सो वाटर शेड मैनेजमेंट इज डन अकॉर्डिंगली टू द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स इफ देर इज अ लो ड्रेनेज डेंसिटी इट मीन्स देर इज हाई इन्फिल्ट्रेशन नो प्रॉब्लम इट इज हाई ड्रेनेज डेंसिटी इसका अंदर रन ऑफ बहुत ज़्यादा हो रहा है देन वी हैव टू अडॉप्ट दी वाटर कंजर्वेशन मेजर्स तो जो वाटर शेड डेवलपमेंट के जो हम प्रोसेस लेते हैं जो भी एक्टिविटी करते हैं वो इन करेक्टरिस्टिक से ही लेते हैं वो करेक्टरिस्टिक की स्टडी करते हैं फिर हमें इन्फॉर्म देन वी गेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन व्हाट टाइप ऑफ वेजिटेशन इज देयर व्हाट टाइप ऑफ सॉइल इज देयर व्हाट टाइप ऑफ रिलीफ इज देयर व्हाट टाइप ऑफ टोपोग्राफी मीन्स माउंटेन वेल वैली डिजर्ट प्लेन एरिया और डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टोपोग्राफी तो देन वी कैन ऑब्जर्व द टोपोग्राफी अकॉर्डिंगली वी कैन मॉडिफाई द टोपोग्राफी एंड वी कैन अडॉप्ट दी वाटर कंजर्वेशन सॉइल कंजर्वेशन मेजर सो दिस स्टडी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू कंजर्व द वाटर सो दीज आर द इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर एंड दिस इज दी वी कैन से दिस इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन वाट वी गेट फ्रॉम दी करेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो दिस इज रिलेटेड विद द इन्फॉर्मेशन विच वी गेट फ्रॉम दी करेक्टरिस्टिक्स and what is the utility of this information utility of this information is that we can use this information in watershed development program means soil and water conservation in watershed management program the aim is the uh, resource conservation natural resource conservation so we can do natural resource conservation if we have the information and this information we get from the characteristics that's why study of characteristics and the relevant information is must for the watershed development program so this information is very important uh, in view of watershed development program thank you very much